But in life, what happens is you have to be careful of what you listen to, what songs you intake, because it's this thing that's called contact tracing. They use that word so much uh, via COVID. You know, how many of you have heard of COVID, coronavirus, everybody, right? So contact tracing in music, if you go back and you trace our lyrics back in the day, we had ghetto boys. Ghetto boys, ghetto boys, no, mm -mm -mm. you know what I'm saying? All I need in this. So when we have situations, if they're not the best situations, and you're listening to the not best songs, sometimes you can have that in your subconscious and you can go out and you can react. There's a lot of brothers and sisters in the cemeteries in the jail cell right now off of a four minute Poo Shiesty song. By the way, Poo Shiesty is where? In jail. Ah, so you guys follow music. Why is he in jail? He was in the shootout. He was in the shootout. Who saw that robbery on camera? Everybody yeah, saw it. Saw you saw that robbery? That's a whole nother piece. The visual sight that happens on our community by way of uh, Triller, I believe, IG, uh, Snapchat, and there's some other, uh, there's some other forms of uh, uh, social media out there. Facebook, Can't YouTube. So what happens is a lot of you have not been on the scene of actual murders and robberies but they come through your phones. We talking about contact tracing once again. So you have to make sure that you have your defense mechanism up. This is all of y'all fighters. Like Coach Ali and the rest of the coaches teach y'all. You gotta have that up. You gotta protect yourselves from certain. I'm sorry, go ahead. Which, which shootout were you talking about? One in the parking lot, one in the club? I ain't know. <laughs> he was in that many of them, huh? Oh, he, shot he was the in it. He shot, was, the, he shot, he shot the club He shot in the club too because somebody said he stole his money. He stole his money. Wow. So there you have it. I, I just want to leave you guys with um, with some small words. The small words is this, to be honest with you, and to be direct. You have to be careful of the teachers and the rappers that you, singers, songwriters, because some of our biggest influences come from music, because we are, we are a rhythm and blues people. You know what I'm saying? The heartbeat, the soul music, that's us. We learn through instruments. We learn through vibrations because that's who we are. So you have to be careful of what you allow your canals, you know, the visual, the smell, the ears, the pores. You have to be very careful what you allow into your system because guess what? You put it back out. You eat some type of food, guess what happens? Two, five, five minutes, two minutes, five minutes later, you're in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? You can't hold it. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Just be mindful of the music that you intake and continue to listen to your coaches, Coach Ali, continue to be great. All right? Anybody have any words uh, that you want to share? Or any? I'm sorry? That's enough rap music. That's enough rap music for him. But all rap music is not bad. You have you have some good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, actually, uh, Rap is an acronym, it stands for revolution and progressiveness. You know what I'm saying? You have some people who have hijacked certain forms of rap and distorted it and did some other things with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I go where I want him, good. Well, you know, he. they say he said something that he shouldn't have said a couple weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? I agree with what he said. He said- he got that rock through Walmart. Oh, he know everything. He said he got robbed. You better be the hardest work in this right. class. <laughs> right, absolutely. But uh, the baby Shout said that uh, certain people shouldn't be doing certain things in vehicles at his shows. You know, he he expressed. He exp you at his show. You in the parking lot. Some of the staff seen two guys active in a certain situation, and he spoke out on it. And he took it to the stage and. Uh, a couple of days later, they said that he was anti whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And uh, right now, what they're doing is called uh, in music, it's called shameful ritual. It's a shaming ritual, and it's buck breaking also. So right now, he's going through some things where they want him to submit. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like when Eminem. This is before you guys' time. Eminem had said some things, and he had to walk out on stage with Elton John, and he had to give some large donations to certain charities just to get back to where he needed to be. So I don't want to hold any of you captive any longer. Continue to be great. Continue to listen to your coaches and uh, that's it. And also I do have one little small thing. I have a song that I'm actually doing. 
it's the remix to, well, it's the, it's, it's on the other side of what Pooh Shiesty says. He says, uh, come get it back with blood. I got something that's coming out in a couple of weeks. It's called Come Get It Back With oh, right. Love. Right, so it's you called come, come Get It Back With Love. So, you know, you got to have that balance. So I greatly appreciate your attention, and I thank you. Let's clap it up for right. Brother Jahad. Hey, appreciate that.